Welcome to Unreal Engine 4 Fundamentals, a premium tutorial series that will teach you how to use Unreal Engine 4. Each video has been designed and created specifically to get you started using Unreal Engine Editor as fast as possible and get you set up to create your very first game environment in a very short amount of time. So here is what you're going to learn in the very first module. How to get Unreal Engine 4 how to install and download it, how to create your very first project and launch the editor. We'll cover the rules for opening and managing Unreal Engine 4 projects. You'll learn how to master viewport navigation and how to use viewport mode options and real-time game preview. Then we'll move on to how to save, open and start a new map, following by 30 techniques working with objects inside the editor. Then we'll cover how to use the content browser, which is the content management system inside Unreal Engine, and how are environments created in Unreal Engine 4. We'll cover BSP brushes and static meshes. Then you will learn six ways to playtest inside the editor, and how to change and customize your editor layout. By the end of this module, you will learn how to use Unreal Editor and you will be ready to learn how to create your very first environment. With that, we'll move on to the second module. First, we'll start off with how to set up your first initial level. Then we'll take a step back and jump into how to create BSP Brush Geometry. First, we'll cover the beginner basics of how to use BSP Brush Geometry, which are the fundamental building blocks in beginning to construct and block in your game environments. And then we'll go more into advanced use of BSP brush geometry. We'll cover world architecture dimension, which will help you to keep your map, your level, to proper scale and proportion. And then you will learn how to block in a BSP brush geometry room. And once you've learned the blocking process using BSP brushes, we'll go into how to use static meshes inside your level, and we'll go through the workflow process of using static meshes inside your environment. You will then learn how to use materials and texture your BSP geometry, and how to work with materials on static meshes. After that, we'll jump right into using lights. We'll start off with a directional light which is used for exterior lighting, such as sunlight. We'll go into how to use fog and how to use sky spheres, which are also known as sky boxes. Following that, we'll go into using interior lights, such as point lights and spotlights. This will help to light your interiors. We'll cover different light types and how to use them inside your level. We'll go through the build options of how to build and render your environment for maximum quality. You will learn how to insert a light mass importance volume, which is a very important volume that all of your levels should have. We'll cover how to fix a few lighting issues you may encounter. Then you will know how to insert a player start, how to insert a particle system, and then we'll cover how to add and use audio inside your level. So this entire module, this entire section is focused on the how-to techniques and you will learn everything you need to know and to get started in order to begin constructing your game environments. So let's go ahead, jump in and let's get started.